Even though he's been around for a while already, the man known as Cedric the Entertainer, aka Cedric Antonio Kyles, is still as busy as ever. Just a couple of months ago, he wrapped up hosting the 73rd Emmy Awards, and on top of that, he's returned to touring the country with his stand up comedy, as well as starring in the CBS series The Neighborhood. When the funny man isn't working, he's also a family man, and these days he resides in a beautiful home in Chatsworth, California, with an additional property in his home state of Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Cedric the Entertainer, as he's known, is an actor, stand up comedian, and a game show host. These days, he's starring on the show The Neighborhood, where all of us can get a taste of what Cedric, the middle class father, would be like. Days, you've got, of course, the Emmys coming up on Sunday, greatest at home videos which you host, and of course, The Neighborhood, which is back for a fourth season starting on Monday. First off, how do you have the time? And second, we're so excited to have you, you know, back for The Neighborhood as well. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, I really enjoy what I do. I love making people laugh, I love entertaining. So this just happened to be one of those, those these, this perfect tsunami of said all over everything. But Cedric isn't just a doting dad on TV. He's also one in real life with his three children, Tiara, Craw, and Lucky. The latter two of which Cedric had with his wife of more than 20 years, Lorna Wells. Cedric first met Lorna back in the 90s when he was hosting BET's Comic View. A short time later, Lorna was working with Cedric on Deaf Comedy Jam, which is when they officially began dating. By September of 1999, they'd be married and shortly after, they'd move into a beautiful home located in Studio City, California. They would stay in that home until the beginning of the last decade and during that course of time, Cedric has only risen higher and higher in the world of entertainment. He became not only an actor and comedian, but a director as well as a game show host. Over the decades, he's earned a net worth of over $25 million, but the amount of work he had to put in to accomplish that came with a cost. He told manenough.com. Being a guy who was raised in a single parent household, I'm from that generation where the man makes the money. But that was my way of taking care of the family. As long as you do that, you did your job. Now that my kids are teenagers, I've come to realize I was a very distant father to my own kids. And it hurts when you realize that you don't know your children the way you should. Ali Cedric finally got to settle down with his family in his current home, located in the neighborhood of Chatsworth in Los Angeles. And when they aren't relaxing on the West Coast, this family is hopping on a plane to Cedric's home state of Missouri, where he owns a pretty spectacular home with a lot of ties to his past. Hey guys, it's Kara. Now that I've got your attention, join me as we check out the properties of Cedric the Entertainer here for you on Famous Entertainment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this house tour. Built in 1990, Cedric the Entertainer's very first family home was a multi-level residence with more than 6,400 square feet of space and a total of six bedrooms with seven and a half baths. It was within this well-proportioned residence that Cedric and his wife Lorna raised their kids amongst the living room with vaulted ceilings and a built-in fireplace. The dark color of that fireplace really pops thanks in large part to the neutral tones established in the rest of the room. A few steps away from that, there's a family room with a wet bar. You know, for those nights when Cedric needs to unwind after a really long day. A few feet away, the home's kitchen was medium sized but came with a center island that was big enough the whole family could fit around it. And within shouting distance of that was a gorgeous dining room located beside some spectacular French doors leading to the outside. Upstairs, the master bedroom featured yet another built in fireplace as well as a travertine tiled bathroom floor in the ensuite bath that just needs to be seen to be believed. Seriously, when you have steps leading up to your tub, that just looks super fancy. The final room here worth taking a look at is a gigantic rec room that was located on the bottom floor that's mostly empty except for a truly massive billiards table. The grounds outside covered about one acre of total land and the property was centered around a lagoon style swimming pool with a charming spa and waterfall feature. Nearby lawns, patios and a play area rounded out this property that's surrounded by hedges and gates. 
Around 2010, Cedric sold his property to David Hodges, a songwriter, producer, musician, and a member of the band Evanescence, who scooped it up for around $2.45 million. David wound up adding on a two-room recording studio to the property and then sold it himself only a few years later, earning around $3.19 million for the sale. Next up is Cedric's primary property, his home base located in the suburban neighborhood of Chatsworth, California. Chatsworth is situated in Los Angeles in the San Fernando Valley and with its low population density as well as relatively high income levels, not to mention the seven public and eight private schools located nearby, this neighborhood is the perfect place for a growing family with means. Of course, considering how much time Cedric spends here, the inside of the home is kept under pretty tight wraps. What we do know is that Cedric paid around $2.95 million for this place back in 2004 and he's lived there ever since. The home is said to feature five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, and a truly epic amount of space, clocking in at around 9,727 square feet. But as big as that sounds, it's the exterior of this home that's truly massive. I mean, the home not only features enough acreage to park at least half a dozen cars, but the grounds also include a full-size tennis court, as well as a swimming pool and spa combination. And all of this is surrounded by all sorts of well-manicured greenery. But as gorgeous as it is outside, Cedric and his family have actually been prevented from spending much time out here as of late due to the negligence of the Southern California Gas Company. Back in 2016, more than 100,000 metric tons of methane were spewed into the atmosphere of this very neighborhood as a result of a blowout from one of the 115 wells in the Aliso Canyon oil field. Since then, thousands of residents have complained of headaches, nausea, and other complications, resulting in the relocation location of more than 8,300 households. And the situation still hasn't been fixed. In 2017, Cedric actually filed a lawsuit against the gas company, alleging that the oil fields were poorly maintained and regulated. His lawsuit also chronicles how his own family has suffered from the effects of the leak. Plaintiffs suffered property damages and physical ailments, such as nosebleeds, vertigo, breathing issues, coughs, and pains in extremities and rashes. Now, none of that sounds particularly lovely, does it? It's a shame because as gorgeous as this home is, having to live with the threat of constant ailments is probably too steep of a price to pay. To complicate matters even further, anyone looking to move off their home in this neighborhood must include a disclosure about the gas leak, which means that I doubt Cedric's family will be moving out of here anytime soon. Finally, the last place we're gonna take a look at is Cedric's residence located in his home state of Missouri, a somewhat modest mansion that Cedric and his family occasionally spend some time in. This house is surrounded by a lot of wide open spaces and features a lengthy stretch of driveway that you could park a handful of vehicles in if the situation called for it. Meanwhile, out back, there's a lagoon style pool surrounded by a fenced in area with a large jacuzzi sitting only a few steps away from that. Inside the home is a gigantic two-story living room that you can look down into from the upper floor balcony, tying a large majority of the home's sight lines into one space. The kitchen here is fully decked out with a gigantic marble island that not only includes bar style seating, but also has a sink set into it at the far end, ensuring you don't have to go far while prepping your nightly meal. The rest of the room features the usual stainless steel appliances and some lovely wooden storage spaces. The dining room is a totally separate space that's set into the back of the home and allows for a ton of natural light through some gigantic floor to ceiling windows. Finally, upstairs, there's four Four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, as well as a large den style room that's perfect for some R&R &R with a big screen TV. Or at least what used to qualify as a big screen TV. There's also a home office with hardwood flooring and further floor to ceiling windows to ensure you're bathed in sunlight while grinding through your day's work. All in all, I'd say this home is pretty modest, especially for a celebrity as big time as Cedric. But I'm willing to bet he keeps it around so that he always has somewhere to stay when he returns to Missouri. Because without a doubt, the cool coolest thing about it is that it's nearby the city street that was named for the man himself. That's right, thanks to being one of Missouri's favorite sons, Cedric now has his own street named after him. You can find Cedric the Entertainer way at the corner of Olive Street and Van Venter Avenue in the great city of St. Louis, Missouri. So the next time you're there, be sure to stop by. Alright guys, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. 
After seeing Cedric the Entertainer's properties from California to Missouri, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? Be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments down below and don't forget to drop a few names of other celebrities you'd like to see profiled.